All right, so as you may know, I don't know, maybe you don't know, I don't know what you know or don't know. I just know what I know, which is not what you know, or maybe you do know already. I'm working on the interior of this thing. Starting out, we got four pans sitting right over here. Yeah, we got four pans. So, in order to do four pans, what do we got to do? We got to get the seats and all that kind of stuff out. It has to come out. I'm going to focus on that for a minute. Um, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen in this me pulling seat I don't I'm gonna pull seats out all right guys so I got the front seat bolts out there was only two holding it in and they were barely on they spun right out I'm falling over here uh, as I'm underneath there looking well my transmission mount is sitting it's 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 shot the the bushing on the top is gone and so the transmission is the mount is sitting about that far away from the cross member uh that's not good but i ain't worried about that because right here i can you see right here i got a c4 transmission uh over here covered up i've got a 289 that's all going in this bad boy this winter so i just need a few more months out of this thing but my son just called me did he pick a bad day to call my son called me said he was picking up his little brother his half brother my i don't he's not my son but he's he's like my son he's cool love the kid anyway um they're coming over to pick some stuff up <laughs> i'm putting them to work we're getting this the seat and stuff out of here uh yeah so I'll, I'll, as soon as they get here we're yanking this out all right guys so my help showed up there oh wait they're right there can you, can you see my help where's yeah all right i didn't know it was going to be helping, but yeah I, I well i already told the camera you were getting tricked so anyway we're going to pull these seats out real quick and um yeah then I, you know stuff my channel now which is oh hello 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 see i keep looking over here because that's where my face is but the lens is actually here so it's like hmm. cool the gopro all right so we got the seat yanked out of here and um so i'm probably not going to get back on this till tomorrow and I've got like four videos going on right now, so whatever. You'll see it when you see it. All right, guys, so I just cleaned out. I just cleaned out everything for the most part. Uh, got these sill plates off. I'm going to have to order up some new ones, see if I can anyway. Surely somebody repops these. Uh, I would just clean them up, but they're starting to eat, be eaten away with oxidation. That's just flaking right there. You know, I'll, I'll clean them up if I can't find any online, but I'm sure somebody repops them. I don't know. Maybe not. But let's pull this carpet out of here. Let's do it together. Let's see what this floor actually, uh, actually, let's see what the floor actually, 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 no, I can't say it right, actually looks like. All right, guys. So, I mean, uh, I got some trash here. We'll throw that in the trunk here. Uh, we'll clean that out later. But... Let's see. Well, obviously we need the new carpet. This is pretty bad. So I got my piece of uh, HVAC panning over here. I forgot I put that on there. I'm gonna have to. I have to get those self tappers out. Oh, obviously we've well this has been patched before very crudely 
about, about as well as I did over on that side. Just pop riveted in. Um, oh, there's our shift knob thing. Look at that. Boom, brand new. Like I say, I'm not sure what's going on with this carpet. Let's pull her out of here, though. <laughs> oh. I just wafts you right in the face, guys. All right, all right, about like I expected. It's shot. Um, so we got this piece of panning up here. Now, up here, I know my floor pan isn't going to go that high. Let's get this out of the way for a second. Um, so we're going to have to create a piece up in here. Um, you know, let me get that out and I think it's time for a new battery anyway. And then I'm going to, we'll vacuum this out and we'll throw a pan in here to see what all we're going to cover. All right, guys. So she's about, I just vacuumed it out. I pulled out the piece of, uh, HVAC that I, I had that piece of HVAC up in there. As you can see, this has been patched on both sides before. She's pretty holy. I mean, she definitely, she goes to church on Sunday, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, over here, we're, we're gone. There's, there's, there's nothing left there. Um, that's the worst spot over here underneath my feet as well. Seems like these back two corners got it the worst. We're definitely, uh, back here though, we're pretty solid, which is good because uh, our four pans don't go back that far um, there's a little rust we're gonna have to repair over there as well as I think we got the same over well this here somebody tried to patch once before so we'll we'll bend a new piece and redo that um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop these out while I'm in here because we're obviously we're redoing the panels yeah give me just a second to pop these out and then we're going to see how four pan fits in here okay so these fit in here nicely um obviously we're going to have up there i don't know if, i don't know where the camera's pointing anymore let's see Obviously, we're going to have anything beyond that point that we are going to have to, uh, you know, rework ourselves with some. I've got plenty of metal laying around, or should have. If I don't, I can go get some. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, give me one second here, real quick. I just want to do something. So I'm going to start out, I'm going to take a little of this uh, grease and wax remover with a scotch Bright. Just get this bottom side of this cleaned up. And we'll at least get one done tonight. It's late, you know, I mean I wasn't planning on getting too far into this tonight, but I do want to get into it. Sorry if it's dark, guys. I'm kind of over here in the corner. Not excellent lighting over here. This is not a movie set. This is simply my garage. So you can see that's, that's brand new steel. And, and you can see all the dirt that's coming up off of that. So we want to get all that off. Just going to take some clean towels here. Wipe the rest of it off. Look at all that. I mean, that's that's gross. Um, but that's what keeps it from rusting is this grease and stuff that they put on here. 
keeps it from rusting before it gets to you. Now I will wind up, I'm going to use some uh, rubberized undercoating. Uh, I use it in the wheel wells as well when I had the suspension apart. But for now, can you hear the shaking? That's right, we're putting some self etching primer on it. By the way, I got my engine stand here. At some point, the 289 will go on it, maybe. I don't know. I just, I don't know what's going on with the 289. After we finish up with the interior, which is going to take a little while, uh, I have most of the components here, though, for the interior, but it's still going to take a little while. But after we finish the interior, then we're going to start working on that engine um, because I'm going to finish driving this thing. I may have said this already. I don't know. But I'm going to start driving. I want to finish driving this thing this summer. And then we're going to start work. You know, we're going to be working on the engine, getting it ready to drop in here once snow starts falling on the ground and I can't drive this anymore. Plus, I don't think this thing has heat. I might want to look into that while I got the interior apart. I don't know if I got a bad switch or a bad blower motor. Knowing, knowing Ford, I probably got both. Now, I'm just going to put a light coat of this on there. I'm not going to completely color it because. Again, like I say, we're going to put that rubberized undercoating and stuff on here. So just one coat of this will work. And that'll do it. Um, oh, you, <laughs> I had you guys pointed at me. So that'll do it. Um, I don't. We're going to wind up cutting this, welding it. we got to drill holes in all kinds of stuff. So I just want it not to rust as it sits here. And I want a little preparation on the bottom of it when it goes down in. If that makes sense to you. Um, I realize we're going to scratch the heck out of this. But that's okay. Again, we're coming through with the rubberized undercoating. It'll all be fine. I promise you. I'm going to call it for tonight. We'll be back on this uh, first thing in the morning. Alright guys, so I just got this one. Well, it's dry already because I, I took a little lunch break. Because I'm allowed to eat. Um, but this one is... Uh, passenger side it's in the self-etching primer now so we can get started over on the driver's side we're gonna I'm not sure where we're gonna get started to be honest with you let's go over here and take a look so I'm over here looking and it looks like our best course of action to start with is gonna be we don't we don't have four pans for this section but this has definitely been worked on before patched up uh, as you can see it's coming through there so let's uh let's start out we're gonna this is just pop riveted in here so i'm gonna start i'm gonna cut this out and we'll just start rebuilding from the back forward i guess um one side at a time all right guys so this is what i've come up with as far as what the four pan is going to be at this present time um what i need to cut out i don't know if i got the metal to do this once i got into it it turned out to be a lot worse than I expected. Um, up in this area was completely gone where the back meets up over here. So I wound up cutting out more than I originally intended. But if I cut this, I'll have plenty of room to overlap, drill a bunch of holes, um, kind of got some specific stuff marked and should be good should patch the whole thing except then we'll come back and we'll create this piece so let me get this bent up um i'm gonna see what i'm gonna do and i'll come back to you all right guys so i'm just kind of bringing you in here real quick i got this pan sort of whatever it's in position i'm going to uh i've got some holes drilled out where i can lay in some rosé welds um and stuff i've got some self tappers in here i'll pull those out weld those holes up as well um, this is going down underneath this section and back up against this uh, yeah um because i have a crappy eastwood um bead roller this took all day so well i not all day but it took some time 
So I'm going to weld this up and, you know, we'll kind of go from there. All right. I got this uh, back panel here kind of created. It's good enough. Um, we're going to, you know, do stuff and stuff, seam seal, all that kind of stuff, whatever. Got over here to cutting this floor pan out on this side, as you can see. Wound up cutting through my gas line because, eh, I'm brilliant. Um, we've got good metal up through here. I need to do a little bit of work on this, uh, you know, the subframe here. Went ahead and sprayed some rust converter down in here. I'll probably lay it over top of this and weld to this surface. But what I need to work on is this. As you can see, this inner rocker is just shot. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to get some cardboard. I'm going to cut this out. I may. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. Probably just zip wheel along there, cut it, cut out, because there is some good metal up here to weld to, and some good metal down here to weld to, and I need to replace this inner rocker panel. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do, and I don't feel like time lapsing, nor do I feel like sitting here with the thing on. Um, so I'll just come back to you when I'm uh, at that point of showing you something new so believe it or not this will be our template for filling in this uh inner rocker panel it'll work trust me done it before i'll do it again see no, that looks perfect right no nah, it doesn't but you know we can clean her up here a little bit it'll be fine beautiful so I'm going to see if I got some metal that we can cut this out of. I might have to cut out in a couple pieces, but that's fine because we're welding it all in. Alright, so what I'm working with here is I got this piece of 16. So, as I was saying before the camera so rudely cut off, um, I have this uh, 16 gauge that I'm working with. Should work great for this inner rocker that we're making. Um, but we are going to have to do it in two separate pieces. I'm running low on uh, on stock here, guys. Alright, so that'll be ready to weld in tomorrow. Because it's not happening tonight. So tomorrow we'll get it all tacked in there beat it around get the torch out i gotta fix that gas line though because we don't want to be welding and getting the torch out with that gas leaking so okay so here we are back i've got the whole floor section done there except for up in the tow board area um because uh, the pans weren't quite that big so i got this cut out i gotta do some bending stuff i want to add an extra probably half inch um, to this edge and this edge so I can bend those uh, give myself a, a welding point That way I, I don't have to butt weld this. I can, you know, just kind of bend those over and weld to the metal that's there. And 
We're just going to kind of crudely, you know, draw this out. Because as well, it's kind of a crude template. And we'll probably oversize it uh, when we cut it out anyway. That way we got to, you know, I'd rather have more to work with than not enough to work with. All right, so let's head on over here. We'll take a look at what we have done and see how this is going to fit up. Probably terrible. But that's all right, because we have, we have stuff to make stuff work. I'm caught. I'm caught. Okay, so I can tell that we are definitely on the right path. I need to put my bend in, which kind of runs down through here. As in, so, and so this, this edge and this edge here, I'll just weld here and then onto the side. Yeah. I mean, let me put a bend in that and we'll come back. So, got a couple tacks in that it's not perfect it's going to definitely need a little bit of work obviously as you can see we're going to throw some heat to it pound on it and get it welded in then i'll show you uh, i did throw a couple um, beads in there you know just to kind of add a little strength to it but i think it'll work out just fine um yeah so i'm, I'm gonna beat on this thing so i'll come back to you guys all right guys so yesterday when we last left off Oh, dang, oh, we were working uh, on finishing up this uh, floor pan down here on the driver's side. It's taking forever, ain't it? Anyway, um, so here is where we're at. Yeah, I got this uh, nice little kick down in here. Um, got this kind of, you know, it's just kind of doing a heat and beat you know and forming it into shape you know with my little eight ounce um unfortunately my microphone's dead uh i gotta get that charge up but i gotta get to work on this um so i'll bring you all back in i'll show you once we get this side done and get ready to hop over to the other side all right guys so we got the front and rear on the driver's side all wrapped up looks pretty good up in there i mean i ain't gonna complain about it uh not spending a lot of time grinding these welds down because we are putting soundproofing down um and carpet all that stuff so i just kind of knocked down the big ones that i thought might be a problem you know some of the big uh kind of pimples that i had happening uh but i'll tell you that I think we're ready to move on to that side. Needless to say, it, it needs it over there as well. Uh, I'm probably just going to go ahead and knock that side out. And I'll bring you in if anything exciting happens. More than likely, nothing exciting is going to happen. So, uh, may just be a reveal here once this is all done and we're ready to code it and all that kind of stuff all right guys so we got the passenger side wrapped up now except for back there in the back uh there's a few areas i need to tackle need to get that other panel out of there and do that side up i'll tackle that tomorrow it's late um my back hurts from being in there like scrunched over freaking welding and stuff and yeah you know what i know some of them welds are ugly but who cares? I I don't. It's it's my car. I don't care because we're still gonna seam seal this thing. We're we're putting carpet down. Plus we're putting the sound deadening. I mean you know there's who cares if I got some ugly welds in there? I'll go through and I'll hit the you know some if, if there's some that might protrude through the carpet. If there's some that are stacked up, you know nipples and stuff. I'll go through and I'll flap disc and knock them down. All right outside of that i just don't care because my back hurts i've been welding sheet metal all day well ever since i got home from work i've been welding sheet metal and here it is blowing through it's blowing through just like your mom 
anyway um so we'll get on that uh tomorrow and we'll see what we're getting into it may not be much it may be everything who knows all right guys so what i got going on here is i made some I took some angle iron just cut these little uh two inch sections these are going to be the mounts for the seat um throw them in the vise here I lost my little thing. Where'd it go? Get your mind out of the gutter. Scratch us a mark there. And let's see. So that's an inch over. I don't know. A half inch down sound good? Yep. Perfect. All right. Going to hit it with a little die grinder action. And we're going to take... We're going to fire up the old... Uh, you know, bench grinder. Calm it down. So I just kind of rounded those corners off. Because you never know. Somebody might, you know, these, these are for the seats and they're going to be exposed. Somebody might hit their toe. You don't know. You just don't know. You just don't know. That's what I'm getting at. So I wanted the corners rounded off in case somebody's in the car and they, I, you know, you don't want somebody cutting their foot on this. So then we're going to place that in there like that and just kind of let that dangle. Make sure your orientation's correct. You don't want your, uh, this thing's off again. And I don't know what's going on, guys. Anyway. So you want to blast that on there like that with just a little bit of heat because how I'm mounting these will be this way and now I don't have to reach back there and try and hold that nut when I'm taking the seats in and out. Um, does that make sense to you? So that's basically going to be my seat bracket. I'm going to hit this, uh, clean it up just a little bit with the die grinder. I lost my glasses though. There they are. You know, safety first guys. Always. So anyway, just kind of that one spot on there, that spot weld, um, and then you, you, I don't like to heat those up too much. And we're going to spin this all the way in to make sure that we didn't mess up any threads, and it doesn't appear we did. So let's bring her out now, make sure she comes all the way out, because you don't want to go, because this is going to get welded into the car, and I don't want to weld it into the car and then find out that the nuts messed up and it came out just fine and i'm going to do this seven more times so uh i'm going to kind of set up a little uh what do you call it a little uh assembly line and i'm just going to kind of yeah do it that way it's going to be a lot easier on me um than doing all this one at a time switching stuff around you know gotta think henry ford style working on a ford so uh yeah, we'll get back to this. All right, guys. Well, we are finally finished uh, installing the floors. Back there in the back corner, I really didn't have much except for that. Um, you know, I whatever. We're going to go through. We got uh, some seam sealer now. And we're going to seal this up before we put a coating on it. Yeah, this is just Fast Setting Auto Seam and Joint Sealer. All right, I'm getting to work. I'm ready to have this job done. I can tell you that much. Also, if you can see, I've got my uh, my seat mounts in here now as well. So, let's go. come on. All right, guys. So I've got it all seam sealed up. Let's take a look. Um, as you can see, and if you're wondering what in the world jeff do you not trust your welds no i trust my welds i trust them to be strong i do not trust them to be 
watertight. You know, and I had the seam sealer. What am I going to do? Save it? You know, so might as well use it. Um, this stuff's got to sit for 30 minutes before we can cover over it. So we'll come back in 30 minutes and we'll, uh, we'll do a, you know, a, I'll show you what I'm going to use to cover this. All right, guys, so it's been about 45 minutes. We had to wait 30 minutes before we were allowed to coat over top of the uh, seam sealer. I'm going to be using the POR50. So I picked this up and I picked up a couple of, you know, uh, just cheap brushes to use with it. It is the gloss black. So we're going to start over here. We'll get this coated. And this stuff here is 100% Rust present preventative, or so they say. So let's see how this stuff spreads. Oh, nice. So we only got a quart. This stuff isn't real cheap. So hopefully we'll have enough to get it done. Let's just dump some out and start spreading it around. We're just going to paint happy little trees, you know? So I think we have to wait once we're done six hours for this to dry before we can move on to the next step. I'll tell you what, this interior job is just taking forever at this point. Now I understand why those guys get paid so much. So anyway, I'll uh I'll finish spreading this and I'll bring you back in once we're once we're done. You don't want to sit here and watch this, do you? I mean, I don't even want to do it. I can't imagine you want to sit there and watch it. All right, guys. So here is the final, you know, product as far as the PRO15 goes. Um, it's a high gloss finish. Now, this stuff it, it does spread on pretty thick. Um, and the quart, I bought a quart of it, and it was enough to cover all the areas that I did. As well as leave me close to a half a can, which is great, because I want to hit the underside with this. You know, at least a light coat of it before I put on. I'm going to use the rubberized undercoating. But that'll be before this thing rolls out of here. This takes six hours, I think, to dry. I could look at the can, but I want... All right, I'll look at the can. I think I, I, I think those drips right there tell me... That's over top of telling me how long it takes to dry. But I want to say I read that it took six hours. I don't know. Basically, I'm going to leave it overnight um, before I mess with anything else in here. That's going to wrap it up on this video. Um, we got so much more stuff coming, and this was such a big job. I mean, this took a lot of time, a lot of working after work sort of thing, you know, working until 10 o'clock at night, trying to get this done. And, you know, because it was... It was bad under here. I'm not going to lie. I had to rebuild both the... Well, you guys just watched the videos. I had to rebuild both the, the inner rockers on this. Um, but, yeah, the next video will be going further in depth on the interior. Uh, we're going to get this interior all straightened out. And she's going to look fancy. So, yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. And next video should be coming at you fast. So socials are right up through here and there's going to be a subscribe right up here and tell me what you think. Tell me, tell me how you think I did.
You know, don't be shy. Do you think I sucked at this? Do you think I really screwed it up? I don't know. Maybe I did. I, don't, I mean, it looks all right to me, you know. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? You know. I mean, I did have to make both these. Well, that, that side over there wasn't bad. Um, I just had to create a panel here and a small little patch there, which whatever, I didn't really spend a whole lot of time on that, but I had to rebuild this whole panel back here, um, and then I had to remake the, uh, up in the foot areas, because I don't know why when they make these pans they only come to here, because we all know that if your fours are rusted, they're rusted higher so whatever um anyway uh yeah again i don't know thank you all for watching i appreciate it i really do um like comment share do all that stuff uh i appreciate you and i'll catch you on the next one and like i say they're going to be coming fast right now so because i got all the stuff here to do and i've already started recording other stuff i've as i've been going that you're not going to see in this video that you might have caught a glimpse of and been like wait when did you do that and it's well it's coming on a video if that makes sense i don't know i don't know if i'm making sense anymore all right i'll catch you guys on the next one love y'all thank y'all so much for watching really do appreciate it um bye